Real quick announcement before we get into the video guys, make sure that you have already clicked the bell on my channel guys, it's right beside the subscribe button. If you subscribe, click the bell and make sure to check that you want to have all notifications being sent to you when I drop new videos. I'll always stay up to date because a lot of you guys are being unsubbed, some of you guys are you know, I'm dropping vids, you're not seeing them in the sub box. So make sure you click that bell and everything will be all well. What's good YouTube? It's your boy Tony D2Wild checking in once again. Back with another video today guys on another part two to my fake Yeezys exposed. Now that video right there, it had a lot of people asking a lot of questions. It got a lot of good feedback on people needing to know and wanting to know. And it also brought up a lot of people that, you know, was saying things about the fakes that I didn't notice, but something new shoes on Two Wilds Closet, go and check it out. Um, so I wanted to go over that shoe, but also guys, I have another kick here that we need to go over. Now I've been holding on to this shoe for a minute now, not knowing what to do. And then I remembered it was a perfect opportunity to do this now. This right here is a fake easy 750. Now a lot of you guys are gonna be asking like, Tony, what's up with all these fucking fakes, man? What's going on? Well, just know that sometimes your boy tries to like get shoes and they end up not being what they be. And when you get like fakes, like somebody sends you a fake, most of the time you can get your money back and the shoe stays here with me. They just sit in the closet and I try to find something good to do with them. And, and fortunately I was able to find something to do with this one. Now this shoe right here is crazy. Now I was gonna actually do a um, comparison vid with these and like Bull's pair, cause Bull has a pair of these, um, the gum bottoms. But uh, I forgot to do it when he came out here. I forgot, the only thing he brought them when he came out here, actually he did bring them. He fucking brought him, he warmed to fucking sneaker con Charlotte. I just wasn't thinking at the time, but we're gonna get into this in a few. We'll sit this aside. It's right here. And uh, let's get into these seven, these 350s real quick, V2s. I just dropped my shoe, goddamn. Guys, if we can get 4,000 likes on this video, I'm gonna wear these pair of Yeezys. Matter of fact, I'll let you choose. I'll put a card up above. I want you to pick the 750s or the 350 V2s. Which one you want me to wear? I'm gonna wear these to the mall tomorrow when I go and drop off uh, return a pair of shoes and I'm gonna wear them to the inside the Adidas store so I need you guys to pick up below which one you want me to wear this one or this one we're gonna see if we get any neck turns we're gonna see if anybody's gonna call us out we're gonna see if anybody's gonna see us we're gonna just see what we see so please feel free to hit that like button and to vote above so let me know guys alright guys so one thing I want you guys to know here that I noticed as well Till at the end of the video, after really looking at it, I did know little things, but I noticed more so afterwards. And that is that the this 350 Turtle Dove V2 is totally different than the black pairs that have came out. It's hard to compare it, but you can compare it, but you can't completely compare it. So for instance, little things like the designs that's on the in, uh, linear side, even the designs on the toe box here, they're all slightly different than what is actually with the you know black pairs, it's a solid black pair. But one thing that's also different is the stripe. Now a lot of you guys are saying, yo Tony, look at this stripe, it goes all the way to the tip of the toe, and this one right here kind of curves in and it's really short. Well, to get a better picture of a real pair of this, you have to compare this shoe to the Beluga when it comes to the stripe. I also want to point out guys that the um, 350 that's on each side of the stripe, I noticed a lot of you guys are saying, hey Tony, they're backwards. They're supposed to be backwards. Well on the Beluga, they're not backwards. On the black versions that are dropping, they are backwards. But on the Beluga, as you can see in the picture of some real pit pics, that they're actually, you know, correct on both on both sides. So that's another thing I noticed. Now the stripe here goes, and on the Beluga, it actually goes up a little bit further, but it also meets at the middle, just like the fakes does. With the UAs, they're unauthorized. I'll say unauthorized, but I know people can get uneasy about that. I'll let you guys decide what is real, what is fake at the end of the day. But this is letting you know that difference between a retail and an unauthorized me personally this shoe i can't say it's the same as retail because it doesn't meet the qualities of the retail pairs of the belugas like i said the stripe would go all the way up more and meet to the center i would show a picture of that or i have a couple friends that could probably send me some clips to show you that but yeah the stripe itself does not meet the full top that was one thing a lot of people said but these right here this back tab on the belugas they don't have this as well it's just a sublimation so this is actually the same as on the belugas the back is fatter and the majority of the time it is mostly fatter so that that you know um is a known with, with, with fakes in general even with jordans like the unauthorized jordans and all that they they're, they're fat in the back they're always fat but um that was like the main thing i noticed and i wanted to talk about was this this whole thing a lot of people were saying yo tony look how much short shorter it is you know on the black one it goes to the tip of the toe the tip well you know that 
is not the same case with this. Like you compare this to a beluga, the belugas don't go to the tip of the toe either. The beluga, the beluga curves in. So that itself is something, you know, we can't even compare to. Some people were saying that the insole was too translucent. Well, we can't even compare that when we don't even have the real shoe in hand. You know, I, I can't say nothing on that. Some people were saying something about the back was, the back stitching was all fucked up. I don't really see that. It's pretty straight if you ask me. I don't see it all fucked up. I don't, I don't know about that. But that was some of the main things that I wanted to follow up on. These are the turtle doves as the time comes by and hopefully I can get my pairs on a retail pair. We can get a side by side comparison on that so we can look more depth into it. But this part, still no go. Like the, the best way to kind of tell is to, you know, um, just fucking get the retail. I don't know, it's just hard. But a lot of you guys have also been asking like how they fit, how they feel on feet. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and do that for you. We're gonna go ahead and put them on feet and do them a little comparison, foot, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Let's, let's, let's do that real quick. Stress. All right, guys, so when it comes to being on feet, I couldn't tell a difference in the, in the boost. There's no real difference, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, they pretty much got the the boost down pack. I'm not gonna lie to you. A lot of people even told me that they they got some type of boost from the, from Germany. I don't know what the, I don't know what the hell they talking about, where they get it from or what's going on, but the boost feels the same. But what I did notice though differently with the shoes I put it in is my foot sat, feel like it sat deeper in this shoe than in the retail pair. Now, what it means is, my feet, like, when you're stepping on the floor, your feet are like this, right? Well, when I put in, in the unauthorized side, my foot felt like this. Like, I felt a little uneven. I don't know what that has to do with the shoe, if it's with anything, but my foot, it felt like it was less boost material or less cushioning. I don't know, it just felt like it was like a little bit deeper, you know, like down. I don't, it's really hard to explain, but the boost wise, I didn't really feel anything boosty different wise. It was all the spongy type of feeling that you feel, so. That was another thing you guys are asking about. But, like I said, hit that like button and comment. Let me know I'm gonna wear one of these to the store and return my shoes and see if I can break any necks here. We're gonna get to it. But let's head over here to the 750. Now this one right here is the one that can break a nigga's pocket. You know what I'm saying? Like these break a nigga's pocket because they early. And they can just break a nigga's pockets in general. But these, the 750s, crack a nigga's motherfucking watermelon shell. blue came through, got me them. Got the new Yeezy for you, boy. Hey, boy, two hundred dollars, boy. One hundred dollars? Hmm, seems pretty fucking legit if you. Yo, my plug came through, man. Your shit will get exploded, bro. Like real talk. Now this shoe right here is a size eight and a half. Um, it comes with the napkins on it. it comes with the fucking paper that comes with the Yeezys. I won't lie to you though, I've seen better fakes than this one because I've seen fakes that come with like four receipts, an Adidas receipt from a local place in the USA. I've seen one from um, like a Champs, a Foot Locker. They have like three, four, five different receipts, even one that's like a Chinese Adidas store. Now this one right here though is crazy. The materials feel on point. Uh, I felt Christian's pair, Paul's, and there's really nothing different, bro. We can sit here and try to talk about it. You can try to say every this and that because the thing is, this is what the th this is the, what the problem is. People like to tell you, "Oh, that's dope," but as soon as you tell them it's fake, then they want to say, "Well, yeah, I mean, I could see it there. Yeah, the stitch is kind of fucked up," or "Yeah, man, this and that." They they act like they know everything now. Like I've been to it, man. Look at the fucking toe box. They, they, nah, it just doesn't work that way. A big fake thing about the big thing about these 750s that were faking faking them out quick that people was able to know off the rip to scale was a little little bit, bit of stitching error going on here. Now they fixed that. The stitching error, which you can still look for today on some of these fakes, is that there's a two, there's two stitches going up on the side right here. They're going up, and then there's also a stitch right here and one stitch right here. Well, back in the day, the fakes there's two stitches right here. Right here, I said. Now it's hard for me to say. I'm, hopefully, I can try to do some B-roll, or whatever. But basically, there's two stitches running parallel up the shoe. 
and basically that one stitch goes all the way to the top up here and then the other one curves that way that's what it was doing but now they're crossing each other now you'll see in the b-roll how they cross and intersect now beforehand it wasn't like that they ran parallel they ran one ran straight up and then the other one ran straight up and then made a right instead now one goes straight up and makes a right and then the other one goes straight up and just goes straight all the way up it's hard to explain but you'll see in the b-roll other things is like the three stripes they got that pretty much packed down on here as well where it doesn't fully it was a big gap but now the gap's gotten smaller the Yeezy's pretty fine print pretty good the, the laces are good it comes with all the damn thousands of cushionings going on you got the Adidas I think the zipper you got a wild KK zipper now I don't know if they've updated the zipper or whatever because usually they got zipper problems they usually fix it I think this whole shoe is pretty much checked out there's one main problem though we'll get to in a few the Adidas on the inside has it on there there's another damn thing in here and uh, the main problem guys is the boost now this boost is worse than this boost right here um, this boost like if they took this boost and put it in here then we'll have a fucking problem we would have a problem we would have a problem in the world now this boost you can kind of tell it's really fucked like it's it's not that good at all I don't know if these glow in the dark but the glow color seems pretty legit to me um doesn't look bad but that that boost on the bottom is just a giveaway of everything besides all that I would never know unless I had two pairs side by side if you feel if you know anything different feel free to comment down below but these these right here guys it even has the curl that's another problem that a lot of these did not have this little lump right here it was just straight a straight fucking back but this has now have a curl in it so that little curve i was saying curl a little curve so that kind of takes away from it as well the only main thing is the boost on the bottom so basically wearing these shoes you're not going to get called out you're not getting called out and i'm feeling like wearing one of these to sneaker con for a couple minutes or something i don't know but please guys hit that like button if you want to see me pull these guys out because i will do so but yeah man we have these 350 v2s which are going to be cracking people's heads coming soon because i just know how people are and it's scary man it's very scary because you know you just gotta be you gotta be careful out there you gotta know where you're getting shit from you have to be friends with them or something you need to have some type of collateral with the person because just shopping out here is easy like i'm just being honest you gotta guys just look at it this way just look at the look look at me in my face i'm gonna be 100 with you would you trust me to sell you a shoe Comment down right now. Don't even just say yes or no. Comment it. Yes, I trust you, Tony. Be honest. Would you trust me? If you bought a shoe from me, would you trust me? You'd be like, hell yeah, I trust you, Tony. I fuck with you. I fuck with your vids. I fuck with you, bro. Okay. That same thought of trust is what you're going to put into someone else for some Yeezys. So if you would have said, if I was like, yo, Gerald, here, bro. Sold you the kicks. You got them. There's no problem. I got these from Tony D. My nigga Tony got me, bro. I know that nigga got me. Yeah, I got you, nigga. I got you out of eight hundred dollars. You feel what I'm saying? That that's how you gotta think. Like, you know, when you when you these resellers, they gonna tell you everything they wanna hear. They gonna they gonna you can't trust everybody, bro. It's hard to tell because I'm not trying to say you can't cop resell and still come out with a W, but try your best to cop retail. Don't be the person like, man, I ain't gonna wake up because I'm a fail and I'll just come and cop it off my reseller. Cause this nigga might be over there fucking with Ling Ling and Sing Sing getting his little ding ding sucked by a ping ping and then he gonna come out here with a little bing bang. Next thing you know, you gonna give him some money and then that nigga gonna go cop him some bling bling, nigga, like straight up. You feel what I'm saying? Like, be smart out here, bro. There's no reason why, you know, I did this for a reason. You guys really like that, so more inf informational videos um, informative videos coming out on kicks and stuff like that if you like this please comment down below because I would love to keep going with the comparisons and letting you guys know because um, a lot of you guys email me this shit a lot of you guys email me like yo Tony can I get a legit check you know what I'm saying all the fucking time on Twitter on everything and this is a good way to go you know and um, the thing is I don't like having like a whole bunch of these things sitting like in my closet and they've been sitting these been sitting for a long time for a long fucking time so it's it, it's hard to kind of like store stack them up like that you know just let me know man anything for you guys at the end of the day hopefully you guys learned a little bit of something just know that the 750s the the unauthorized or the fake pair um they are out here now a lot of people are gonna be like 
you know, like I said, mad that I'm saying unauthorized are fake. How can you say they're fake when they have most of the same real material? Let me put it this way, guys, because majority of the people who are selling unauthorized shoes, like selling them, are selling them as legit. You see what I'm saying? Majority. There's some people out there probably say, yo, I got the unauthorized, here you go, 250, 300, whatever, whatever they can sell it for, that's fine. If they want to do that, you know what I'm saying? People, some people don't like none of that shit. They say it supports terrorism. I understand that. I don't conduct any of that. That's why I just, I'm leaving that up to you. But when they say, yo, I got the 750s, legit, like, yeah, nigga, receipt, everything, nigga. You know what I'm saying? And then they copping them and selling them to you for for 800. That's when the problem lies. Cop your shoes, bro. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, cop your shoes. If you feel good, I feel good. Cop your, cop your kicks. But don't get finessed out here in the streets because finessing is a fucking sport. And a lot of niggas' teams are winning. Okay? Real talk. I didn't play that song for no reason. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what your thoughts and opinions on. Hit the like button and make sure you check out that poll. Let me know if you want to see me rock one of these to, to Adidas store. I'm going to walk in there like, what's up? You know? I mean, I'm not going to go in there just flaunting like crazy trying to get exposed, but... I'll go in there and see if anybody asks questions or walk around the mall and see if anybody asks questions and uh, just go from there. But um, let me know which one you want me, to, want me to pull off. Feel free to comment it down below. Make sure to vote. And thank you guys for all the love and support. I'm going to see you guys in the next video, man. It's your boy, 20D2Wild. I'm checking in. I'm checking out. Don't get exposed, guys. Peace.